People in a Durham community are coping with the loss of a neighbor while police are looking for her suspected killer. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Maggie Newland. The deadly shooting happened last night at a rooming house off Ridgeway Avenue. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer's live in Durham. And Zach, you spoke with people who knew the woman who was killed. What did they have to say? Well, Maggie, you can only imagine just what the family and friends who knew 23-year-old Naisha McMillian are going through tonight. One man we spoke to earlier today says he saw her just minutes before she was found inside that rooming home after being shot. And now tonight, police are asking for your help in looking for the man charged with her murder. I mean, it's literally senseless violence. If you can picture the inside hallway. Like right here is where she was laying at. Ryan Olive describes what he saw in this rooming house along Ridgeway Avenue Saturday night. I was just in shock. Like I couldn't talk. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. He says 23 year old Naisha McMillian came and asked him for a pump to blow up a mattress when 15 minutes later. We heard, oh, he's got a gun, and we heard a gunshot. And then when I came out of my room, I looked, and there she was sitting, laying on the floor. My chair is literally against the wall, and it was literally like maybe a foot from where she was laying, where the gunshot went off. And had we not had, you know, brick walls, what could have happened? The bullet could have ricocheted and came in. My wife's pregnant. It could have hit her. It could have hit me. Police responded just after 11 o'clock, where they found McMillian in a hallway. Officers charged 41-year-old Thomas Keith Moore with her murder. Olive says he remembers being close with McMillian. We hung out. You know, we listened to music. We laughed. We talked. She was a, she was a really cool person. It's sad. It's really sad. I mean. It really don't make sense. Mike Kelly, who did not want to show his face for personal safety, says he remembers seeing the area blocked off while trying to get home from work early Sunday morning. So I had to get the police to escort me home. Meanwhile, Olive says he and his wife plan to move away from the neighborhood, hoping the violence will stop and justice will be brought soon. This is a wake up call. That could have been anybody laying there. That could have been me laying there. Now, investigators say that this incident was was not random and that McMillian and Moore were known as acquaintances. And, of course, if you have any information as to where Moore could be, you're asked to call Durham police. We're live in Durham. Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.